Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is Geek Fuel. This is, I believe, January's Geek Fuel. They are running behind, and that's just it's a, it's a fact of life. I don't know. Uh, Geek Fuel's never been super on time, but they've never been super consistently late. So I'm hoping that they get better uh, and not falling the same way as Loot Crate. Uh, also, another thing that I did want to point out is that uh, there is a gigantic hole in the box of mine. So if you want, I could just pull things out from here, but I feel like I shouldn't. I'm going to open this the right way. If I can figure out how. There it is. It's right here. Oh, you guys, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm feeling right now. I'm kind of tired, but I'm like not tired. But I want to do this so I can get back to my Star Wars stuff. But I know there are people out there that like my unboxings. I know there are people that watch everything I do. There are people that only watch my unboxings. There are people that only watch my like Star Wars stuff and whatnot. And I'm here for all of you. I'm very thankful for all of it. So thanks to all the people that watch this. I don't know anything about this month's Geek Fuel. I do know that I like Geek Fuel traditionally, but but I feel like their boxes have been consistently light. Like there's only been like three or four items. And it feels like there should be like one more thing. Let's see what's in here. Well, there's stuff. That's for sure. There's stuff. It's got like a Jurassic Park kind of when animals attack theme, I guess. That's fun. Let's just get started, shall we? Let's start with the shirt. Ooh, the shirt already feels soft. I like it. Um, ooh, smells good. Is this the front? This is the front. There's a back. I've never really done, I don't, I don't know if I have any shirts with a back image. Everything's always on the front. That's weird. I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. Before I put it on, it occurs to me that since the main image is on the back, if I put it on, you will only see the front image, which I'm gonna I'm gonna get close here. That's uh, that's what it says on the front. Titanus Gojira, I guess is that's that's what it says. This is the back. So if you are into Godzilla, this is the shirt for you, for sure, for shirt. <laughs> but I really should put it on because that's that's what this is all about. So let's go ahead and uh, and give this a shot here. Hold two. Three. Oh, 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 it's a thin shirt, which is nice. The image on the back, it makes me feel like I could, I could hulk out of the shirt and like rip, I don't know if I'd rip the shirt, but I definitely feel like I'd rip the image. You know what I mean? Like, and then like the, it starts peeling away. I like it though. I think it, I think it looks good. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the shirt looks good? I think the shirt looks good. So I love it when people lather <laughs> praises on me because, uh, it, it makes me feel good. So let's move on to the next thing here. And the next thing is the Super 7 reaction figure. This is a Planet of the Apes astronaut Cornelius. I'm just gonna be up front here. I've actually never seen the original Planet of the Apes. I saw the Tim Burton remake back in like 2002 or so, but I've never seen the original 70s uh, Planet of the Apes. I've, I've seen the newer ones too. The ones with the Caesar and what, you know the ones. But uh, I've never, I've never seen the original, original Planet of the Apes. It looks cool. And while I don't super care about Planet of the Apes, I appreciate that this is a fun thing. Obviously I like toys and I like getting toys in my boxes. So it's gonna go up with like my Frankenstein and my Robocop. It's gonna have a home here for sure. I'm not gonna toss it by any means. Next we've got this fantastic forgotten fortunes of rare retro relics, trinkets, and treasures in trash. That's literally what it says. Fantastic forgotten fortunes of rare retro relics, trinkets, treasures, and trash. This is something that Geek Fuel's been doing recently, and I'm not a fan of it. I just, it's literally, it says trash in the title. I did get the Nero, the little Nero uh, magnet from Home Alone. I did like that actually, now that I think about it. Let's see what's in here. First, we got a fun Jurassic Park kind of Geek Fuel sticker. I dig this. I like anything Jurassic Park. I like that logo. I like Geek Fuel, so this is gonna be something that I actually sort of appreciate. Next, there's a trading card from the movie Baby. If you're not familiar with it, I loved this movie as a kid. Uh, it's where some like scientist researcher people in the Amazon find basically a uh, 
baby brontosaurus back when brontosauruses were a thing. Although I, th I think they're a thing again. I can't keep up with what science is and isn't with dinosaurs. And then lastly in here is a pin that says uh, Dungeon Master, which is, in my opinion, not very um, on theme with the whole monster thing, but I guess there are monsters in Dungeons and Dragons, so sure, I guess. That's most of the box, but not all of it. There's one last thing in here. It's definitely from Jurassic Park. There's a Mr. DNA. It says stash can. So it's got the whole dino DNA thing all over the place. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, the cap came off. So this is a can of shaving cream, like from Jurassic Park. Does it, does it open? Oh, there it goes. It's just hard to open, but it opens. So that's nice. You can see the inside there. So uh, the, I guess the idea is you can put things in here if you want to, to hide them. But I feel like enough people have seen Jurassic Park to know that if they see this can, there's dino embryos in here. Like, duh. I've got at least six hidden in here right now. So it's just how it is. So that's the box. Uh, I'm going to get my thoughts together on this and come back with a score for you. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. Each thing in here is worth a point, except for the trash box. That's gonna be worth a half point. And that's because I just feel weird giving it the same like weight in the box as like main items, because it's literally just kind of junk lying around. So the total for this box is gonna be a three and a half. So let's take a look at the box item by item, starting with the shirt. I like the shirt. It feels soft. It's nice. Um, it's gonna go on my rotation. I like Godzilla. It's my favorite shirt color, which is, you know, black. Hides the fat pretty well. So I'm gonna give the shirt the full point. Next, the toy. Just based on the fact that it's a toy, if I cared more about Planet of the Apes, it would have gotten the full point. I'm gonna give it a 0.75. I like the idea here. I definitely like, I like this, but uh, I just don't care uh, about the property all that much. Although I don't hate it. The Parbasol can. <sighs> Part of this is just, a, it's a novelty. I'm never gonna use this. I can't shave with it. I'm not gonna store anything in it. It's just like, hey, remember the shaving cream can from Jurassic Park? Well, me too, because I have one. Uh, I feel bad giving it nothing or even pity points, because I, I mean, I like it. It's Jurassic Park, I like that. There's novelty here. I'm gonna give it a half point. And then finally, the little half point garbage thing here. Honestly, I'm gonna give this the full half point. I like the trading card. I like the sticker a lot. And I actually like the pin a lot. So uh, it's gonna get the full half point there. So that's gonna give us a total of 2.75 out of 3.5. And the problem with this being so low in the score total is those those half points, quarter points make a big deal. That gives us a 2.25 out of 3.5, which is about a 79% if I round up a little bit. That's a C plus. I feel like that's pretty accurate. I do feel like it's a little light still. I feel like it could have used like one more, even a little thing like this to just boost up that value. But something that Geek Fuel has started doing, and I feel like I had a small hand in this because I mentioned it in my video and literally the next month they started doing it on here is they've been giving the value. So just for your notification, the uh, Planet of the Apes action figure is retails for $18, or $18 value. And I know that's a fact because they sell these in stores and I was gonna buy a couple until I saw they were $18. And I thought to myself, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. The Barbasol can, this, this thing's 20 bucks. I just, there, there's not a world that exists where I would spend more than like $12 on this. $20 seems like a lot, especially for what it is but that's what they say it's worth. The shirt they say is $20, sure. A typical shirt price is about 20 bucks. So I'll, I'll go along with that. And then they say this little guy right here is worth $10. I, I don't know, I mean the pin, I can see a pin going for 10 bucks. A little trading card and sticker, no, no, not even a little bit. But the pin itself, I'll, I'll give that to you, sure. So they say the whole value of this box is $68, which is a pretty decent value if you take it at that face value. I really can't argue it too much except for this, but even like taking this out, that's still, I feel like a $48 value. This box is not a $50 box. It's like a 20 something dollar box. I got my money's worth out of it from just this and this alone. If they just sent me this, I got my money back and that's fine. Geek Fuel, if you're watching this, thank you. I think this is a pretty good box. It's not the best, like a solid C plus for sure. Like I said, maybe just one little 
little more like cheapy thing in here like this would just kind of maybe put it over. If not, like I'm still gonna get these. I feel like they're they still have value. So that's that's it for my unboxing. Let me know down in the downstairs area. Do you agree with my score? Do you not agree? Do you think it's too high? Do you think it's too low? Do you get this? Do you agree with me? I don't know. Let me know down in the downstairs area. I love to read and respond to all the comments. I'd also love to take a moment and thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon at an unboxing level or higher. Thanks so much, guys. It means a lot to me that you do this. I'd also like to throw out the names of my YouTube channel members. Thanks a lot to you folks. That also helps the channel out a lot as well. So thank you so much for all people that put their money down to support the channel. But if you don't want to do that, there's still a couple of free ways you can do so down in the downstairs area, up to and including liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting the bell for more notifications. But with that, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. And I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, also tell me what you think about the new camera. I feel like I finally got a good hang of it. What do you think? Do you miss seeing the toys in focus? I mean, I can do that. I can make myself out of focus and make the toys in focus if you guys want. Let me know down in the downstairs area. Is this something you'd rather see because the toys are more interesting than me? Let me know.